Welcome to our travel day to Aruba. Ooh. We're leaving Mexico finally after almost an entire year. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of wild when you think about back in January, we left for Mexico from the United States thinking we were going to go on this grand adventure around the world. Then the coronavirus hit and we spent six months in Los Angeles before finally escaping the States again back to Mexico. But today we're finally going from country to country and starting this adventure that we've been waiting to do all year long. So long. I'm so excited. <laughs> but it's going to be actually a very long day. It's actually two days of travel. In fact, it started last night. So far, the ports this last week from Cozumel have been uh, closed due to another storm. And if you didn't see our last video, we've had three hurricanes this month. So we decided Finally, the ports opened and let people go, so we went diving first and foremost, and most importantly, but then we got on the ferry passenger, uh, the passenger ferry last night and headed over to Playa del Carmen. So that's where we are now. We just got a hotel room for the night, so we knew that this morning we weren't going to have trouble trying to get off of the island, so we have yeah. a flight to catch. We're off to Miami. Let's do this. Here we go. So we've had all of our scuba gear out drying because <laughs> just a few hours before we packed it all up we were in the water so we had like this huge suite which was specifically for us being able to dry all of our gear time to mask up look at that butt Montemayor to distance yet yeah. are you Fieri's Bar in the Cancun International Airport. We've ordered some fresh made guacamole. The guy just came over here and made it all by hand. We've got giant beers. We've got a little bit of food coming on. But there are just way too many people here without masks on. And I'm not talking like when you're just not, or when you're eating or drinking. There's just people sitting in the airport walking around with their masks under their chins or just completely off. And that's ridiculous. That's the stuff we need to stop if we're going to get this under control. Okay, so we're on our flight and we're seated in business class, luckily. So we have a little bit of extra space. Just a quick, like, two and a half hours to Miami. Okay, so we've made it back into the U.S. Unfortunately, we're in Miami. But one good thing about us coming back through here was that we finally got our global entry. I've been approved for almost a year now and Aaron just got his last month. So it's perfect timing. We uh, just did our interview, it was really quick and easy, in and out, bada bing bada boom. <laughs> Good morning, we're here at our hotel uh, in Miami. We got in last night and basically went and ate some bomb food. Yeah, that was some of the best vegan Italian food I think we've ever had. So good, something called a stromboli, which was kind of like a calzone and it was just filled with the most delicious like cashew cream sauce. I don't even know, it was fantastic. And polenta fries. And yeah, and even the kale salad was just Caesar. really good. It had dates in it, so it was like sweet, but like crispy with chickpeas. Anyway, delicious. And it's called Ittle Littley. <laughs> kind of a tongue twister. Which is confusing, um, but it was incredible. So here we go. We're going uh, to Aruba. We did it. We're making it to Aruba. <laughs> We're like minutes before Etta's gonna hit Miami, the hurricane. So like they've just <laughs> been following us around and we're gonna make it out. So let's freaking do it. Let's go. <laughs> We've gotten through security, which um, luckily wasn't too big of a problem. Um, we just had to basically show proof that we did our online health form and we paid for the insurance and all of that, which... And the coronavirus test. And our test, so we're doing our test on arrival. So all of that went very smoothly, which is nice. And we're just here at the gate, which it doesn't really look too crowded, which could be awesome. Do this, I'm going to Aruba. Douchey douchey.
country number four. Pretty exciting. Yeah, it is pretty exciting. Now we're just kind of waiting for our test results. So we're gonna kind of unpack and settle in and then hopefully we get those sooner rather than later. Otherwise we're gonna have to get some food delivery. Luckily we were again in first class. So we were first off the plane, which made things really easy. We got our luggage and um, because we had already filled out our like health questionnaire and downloaded the app and paid for the insurance and the PCR test to like, we basically got to like walk right in. We waited maybe five minutes and they scanned our QR code, registered us, stuck a swab both down our throat and then through our nose, which was interesting. <laughs> she was like, I'm gonna do, she kind of mumbled and I was like, I'm sorry, what'd you say? And she was like, we're going throat and then nose. I was like, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was going to be multiple sticks, and she's just like, do do yeah. do back in the down throat. your throat, Boonk. and then into your, your brain. <laughs> we are just like Aaron said, waiting on our test results, which they said it could be up to twenty four hours, but we'll probably get them tonight. So we're kind of just um, forced into a little quarantine here. We are COVID free. Yay! <laughs> Last night at about 11 p.m., so it took about eight hours, we got our test results that came back negative, and we were told we're free about to move about the country. Yeah, good on you, Aruba. We came in, got swabbed, kind of hung out in the Airbnb, went to bed, woke up in the morning, boom, results, done, easy. This is how it just needs to be everywhere. So we're going to go try to find our very first local dish. It's called a pistachi, and it kind of looks like a pierogi. It's like a deep, or an empanada. Yeah, an empanada, um, and they're usually filled with like meat and cheese. But we've found, we've located vegan ones. So let's go find some. So unfortunately, we were not able to get the vegan pistachi today because right. They source all of their ingredients from Aruba for those, and so he was telling us the, the sheer number of vegetables that go into the vegan pistachio means it's one of the hardest ones to have all the ingredients for. So luckily we're here for a month. We'll keep trying and just kind of see, and hopefully we come cross paths with that. But we were still able to get the vegan croquettes, which have like spinach and a bunch of other vegetables. We'll tell you a little bit more when we get into them. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive. Oh, we also got smoothies. I got a strawberry banana, and Hayden got a banana, and something called soursop, which is supposed to be a tropical fruit. So, kind of excited to try that because we've never heard of that one before. Ooh, so it's basically like a deep fried, crusted veggie stick, mosquitoes, and we can have mustard on it. So we'll do that. Mm, it's not really good. It's almost a little creamy, like, I want to say there's potato, but I feel like that's not right. It's got like kind of like a mush to it on the inside. The flavor is really good and it's super crunchy on the outside too, so I think, I think they're pretty good. Croquettes. Like Aaron said, I got the sour sauce, um, which is a local fruit here that's grown here on the island. I have no idea what it tastes like. <laughs> It's definitely not sour. I have no idea how to describe that flavor. <laughs> I feel like it would be, I want to say almost like a like a kiwi or something. Like a mango, like a mango kiwi. I don't know. <laughs> it's a horrible description, but. It tastes like something, but I can't tell you what. Yeah, like some mix of two tropical fruits. But, I mean, it's delicious. It's just difficult to describe. Well, we're back at our Airbnb and we have enough time to jump in the pool for a little while this morning before we start work. And um, it's a bummer about the pistachios, but we will definitely find them while we're on the island. But one thing that we did notice is that, you know, we came from Mexico, from Cozumel, which is very like rustic and there's no name brand stores or design or anything and we we have arrived here and um we grabbed starbucks inside of a mall and there's like gucci and michael kors and dolce and gabbana which also means that the prices of everything have gone up considerably so like 
it's like Europe prices or expensive United States. <laughs> yeah, especially since right there in that same area is where the cruise ships dock. Oh, so that makes it's sense. it's kind of that downtown area where they ferry all the people off the cruise ships for for the day or the evening or whatever. So if you have any recommendations for things that we should do here outside of diving, of course, <laughs> um, please let us know down below in the comments. We'll see you next time. See ya. Kubra, Kubra Boca, and Jelly. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> My rash is still wet, so I'm just trying to, you know, squeeze out every last drop of water that I can. Here, why is it so dark? You still have that filter on there, do no, you? No, the filter's off. Why does it look like that? Okay, that's better. <laughs> and they were playing Christmas music. So, <laughs> my worst nightmare of all time. Yeah, it was pretty wild though, because it reminded me of my time going into Japan, where we were like, oh, we, we've got to do this global entry thing. And then I got a little PTSD, because they were like, oh, and they set our passports to the side and like called somebody over, and they're like, go sit in the center. And then we got pulled into the border patrol room you know into like the little interview area i was like oh this is just reminding me of japan that's a but much was, longer more involved yeah, story if you're was, interested in hearing about why aaron's not allowed in the country of japan let us know down below and we'll talk about it sometime <laughs>